guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I think that this is part three and hopefully the finale of this haul because I already have like two hauls coming up and the stuff is just amazing in these hauls. Um, I have to grab one more item. Okay, so I just wanna say very quickly, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. I hope you guys um, have watched the other hauls so you kind of know where I'm coming from. If not, then you might want to go back to part one or even the walkthrough. And I'm just going to throw myself into it because there's a lot of stuff still and I just really need to get through it. I'm going to do the not so exciting items. At this point, maybe everything is not so exciting because you might have already seen it, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. So these I know are not exciting but I have to say that I literally love Dollar Tree trees and um, as long as you don't just use one when you just use one they're not fun at all I picked up four because I actually didn't have any left for myself and of course I double them up or if you fold all of the branches of the Dollar Tree tree towards the front and you make it flat back you can actually put them on your wall and they look amazing and super cute and you can put them at different heights and you could do so much cute stuff with Dollar Tree trees. Anyway, I picked up four because I'm going to double them up and um, put a couple of them in different areas. Because I'm I'm not going to get a huge tree this year, so I figure I'm going to make some heights and different things like that. Um, the next item that I picked up is another card. I didn't show you guys. I showed you the Joy card, but I forgot to show you the Noel card. It's so cute. Also a Voila card. And uh, it says, may the beauty and the joy of the season find a happy place in your heart this holiday. Have a very Merry Christmas. But it's just so pretty because it has that um, 3D. This is like a wreath, a mini wreath. You could DIY with it. It's just so cute. I love this card. These dollar cards from Voila are really high quality cards. Um, hmm. It's a pile of DVDs right here. Um, okay, so here's like a weird aside. So I did pick up this frame. It's one of these frames that has like the three picture things. And I had found this amazing painting. It's actually a hand, it's actually a hand painted watercolor painting. It was um, stapled to the back of a dresser drawer that I got at a flea market a long time ago because I guess they watercolored it it's even signed. It's super old. Um, the lady that painted it had entered it in some contest. I Honestly, I think it was like 90 years old. But um, I guess she didn't win the contest and she stapled it to the back. She had like mounted it to some cardboard and then stapled it. It was probably like asbestos actually. It was a weird substance. Doesn't matter. Long story short, I saved it because I was like, this is so beautiful. I cannot throw it away. It even had like a little bit of water damage, but I couldn't throw it away because it's actually hand painted. Isn't it so crazy to find something like that? Like stapled to hold a drawer together. And so I couldn't throw it away, but it's weird. It's a weird like substance and I didn't want it like out and about. And, and you could see like that it was mounted onto some cardboard. There's like tattered... It's all tattered but so anyway so I put it in this frame and I think it looks awesome I kind of love it now it's it's like an artifact so yeah Dollar Tree to the rescue I think that that's pretty amazing actually um, I did pick up this magnet I did pick up this magnet for a friend it says be the light and it has this really gorgeous magenta like sky really pretty field I just think it's gorgeous and it's a psalm and um it says Matthew 5 14 but I know she'll like it so I picked it up for her hmm which way do I go okay I have some really exciting things but I have to get through these okay going forward going forward you guys did see that I I dropped something um okay I did show you guys that I in my walkthrough, I showed all of these, but um, I just, I already dropped off. I, I bought a case of them, actually, and I think there are like 50 in a case, and there were all different ones. 
I think emoji and outer space, aliens, and unicorns. But I just picked up two unicorns, two unicorn ones for a couple of girlfriends' children. Because I think it's really cute. And the rest I dropped off already at the shelter. In my walkthrough, I showed you guys a bunch of really cool little, uh, you know, like billiard or sporty type games. And I did decide to get this um, hockey game because I thought it would be fun to play with my husband. He he always likes to buy the huge versions of the, these, but this is the only size that's allowed in this house. And uh, yeah, so I bought that. Now I'm gonna show you guys some DVDs really quickly because if I could get through these quickly, I could just get rid of this haul finally because I have such good stuff in my car. Okay. I bought a lot of kids' movies that I'm going to drop off at the shelter. These are just some of them. Um, this is a DVD that has eight animated movies, volume three, but they're all really good kids' movies. It has Agent Fox, Police Patrol, Otto Rhino, Donkey X, uh, Gnomes, and Trolls. I kind of want to see that. I've never seen it. Monkey Business, Freddy Frog Face, and Otto Rhino. And Charlotte and Henry. Did I say those two twice? But um, I've seen a lot of these, actually. I love Donkey X, actually. It's a very cute movie. I've seen a lot of these movies. It's a really good DVD. Eight, all eight of these movies are on here. This is volume three. And I found volume one, but I never found volume two. And it kind of drives me crazy because, you know, why can't I find that one? In this one, you get eight movies also. And you get my friend Bernard, uh, Kiara, Life, Life's a Jungle, Aqua Tales, The Race Begins, Pup, Rock Stars, and Legend of the Sea. Um, I haven't seen all of these, but I'm sure that it's also good. Eight movies, eight kids movies. Kids like kids movies. It's, there's no such thing as like, oh, kids kids just like kids' movies. It's not like adults that are become picky. Kids like to watch kids' movies, cartoons. They'll watch just about anything until they start to get preconceived notions. So um, I obviously do like Donkey X because I bought the actual individual version. It's a really cute kids' movie. And then uh, Mission to the Moon, where no duck has gone before. Very cute kids' movie. I'm sure people will grab that up. Mummy, I'm a zombie. She's back. Of course she is. She's a zombie. Okay, like seriously, if I was a kid, I would love this movie. <laughs> I love, I love movies like this. This is up my alley. I watched The Munsters when I was little and The Addams Family. Those were my favorite. So I would immediately want to watch that. Then um, League of Super Evil. Oh, 13 episodes from season one, volume two. I don't know this cartoon, but again, it looks funny and cute. And the characters look like kids will love it. And it's many hours. It's, a, it's this is five hours. This is a good, this is good. <laughs> this is five hours of cartoons. That's amazing. Uh, then I found a name brand, Lego Chima. I found this before and kids grab this. I actually even got this last year and I got a bunch of, last year they had a bunch of Lego DVDs for $1 that had collectible, I want to say Batman figures in them. They had Lego figures in them because the DVD was sold exclusively at Walmart and it had an exclusive figure in it that you only could get through from Lego through Walmart. Those DVDs were actually really valuable. It turned out that I bought a bunch of them for the shelter and then I later found out that the the characters were actually very, very collectible. So people that got those actually got like a score. I actually saw it on a haul. One was showing their um, DVD haul and they were saying how you can get Lego at, like a, a, a little boy actually, he does Lego hauls and he, um, has like Dollar Tree Lego something in his title and somehow it came up uh, under action figures and I was like, wow, Dollar Tree's never had Lego, but I forgot about that. 
And then he actually said that they were really valuable minifigures. I had no idea. <laughs> but they were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. You really never know what you're going to find. And um, I wish I knew that kid's name because he does really cool videos. He's like a teenage boy. But I feel like if you just write in Dollar Tree Lego and action figure, he's like the only one that ever did that video, I think, because he was the only one that came up. Because I think I typed in Lego by accident because I wanted to see what kind of action figures Dollar Tree was coming out with. I don't know. I, I do these crazy searches. So anyway, um, The Power of Chi, it's a really good DVD. My son, like, watched this. He watched the heck out of this DVD when he was little. So it's been around a while, but still, people will love it. I mean, it's Lego. It's just Lego. They're, they see the word Lego and they're happy. Um, what's new, Scooby-Doo? Halloween Booze Clues, Volume 3. Four fantastic adventures from the hit TV series. This is so cool. I just wanted to find more. Vo if I had found, like, the entire collection, it would have been really hard to part with. But, you know, I've seen Scooby-Doo a million times. I grew up on Scooby-Doo. I love Scooby-Doo. And... I think other children should learn who Scooby-Doo is as well. And um, I saw um, on YouTube, I watch Erica Fuller. She hauled Gem and the Holograms. And, I, and the minute I saw it, I was like, oh, truly outrageous, truly, truly, truly outrageous. And I was like singing to myself. And, I, and I've been looking because I would love that. I love Gem and the Holograms. That was one of my also favorite super cartoons. But you never know what you're going to find. But you really got to look. Because sometimes the DVDs, you really never know what you're going to find. Like I said, there were like, like seriously collectible figures thrown in with the DVDs. And then, you know, as far as I'm concerned, these DVDs are priceless that I have here because they're going to spend, kids are going to spend hours watching them when they're cooped up in little rooms with their parents. I mean, they don't have like huge places. They're like in a, a tiny, tiny room. So it's good to have things to keep kids occupied now that we're having like winter and a snowstorm. I already dropped off a bunch of DVDs, but I'm going to drop these off with my last haul to the shelter. Um, seven, well, for, for, for Christmas, it's not my last haul. Um, I picked up Seven Seas Pirates, Yo Ho Ho, A Treasure Life for Me, A Treasured Life for Me. I've never seen this, but it looks really cute. It looks really cute. What makes me love it is this cute, absolutely adorable, I guess, um, pirate wench. I love it. <laughs> so then I found Lewis and the Aliens. And if I could have found more copies of this movie, I would have bought multiple copies of it. I only found one. I found multiple copies of a lot of these movies. But um, this is a really adorable movie. I would watch it again. <laughs> I just... Uh, Will Fort and Leah Thompson are the voices in it. It is such a cute movie. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but if you've never seen it, it's worth watching. Then I picked up another copy of Pinocchio. I pick it up all the time every time I see it because it's just such a cute movie. And it's a good version. I've seen it. I love this movie. Very cute Pinocchio version for $1. And are you curious what Santa Claus, his nine flying reindeer and the elves do the other 364 days of the year. Uh, in the nonstop adventure, Santa and his team are on the search for perfect toys for all the boys and girls on his nice list. After slaying around the real world, they journey into a place full of magic. There, there they discover the evil Gruzzle Beard has cast a spell on all the toys, making them come to life. With Christmas rapidly approaching, Santa and the elves must undo the evil spell before it's too late. So... This is like, um, it's kind of like the land of misfit toys, uh, meets if you like Giorgio, you'll love Primo, but kids will like it. I think that kids will like it. You have 13 episodes for your countdown to Christmas. That's awesome. I mean, it's, it sounds like it has a good storyline. Santa's got to save Christmas. Who better than Santa to save Christmas in this Dollar store double CD holiday collection for a dollar. I, I can't. That's like amazing. Um, I, I kind of thought that my son actually might want this one. I feel like I might have to hold on to it and we could watch it and then I might give it 
at another time. Um, Dragon's Gift of the Night Fury. I mean, he's not into cartoons, but he loves anything with dragons in it. He sort of loves Merlin like stuff still to this day. And um, I've never seen it actually. It looks really cute. There's like ogres in it. I think he would like it. We might watch it just for the heck of it. And then I picked up Pound Puppies. This is two hours. Okay, so it's Pound Puppies the movie, Super Secret Pup Club. I've never I've never seen it, but Pound Puppies sound fun. I mean, it's a it's it's the real Pound Puppies. It must just be very vintage. Then I picked up this. Um I know my son is going to like this movie. It's it's called The Magic Kids 3 Unlikely Heroes. Vampire who can't see blood, a fairy who's afraid to fly, and a werewolf with a hair allergy. Teens Vlad, Faye, and Wolf are outcasts at outcasts at Penny Academy, the world's most famous magic school. The trio must work together to save the town's fairies, witches, trolls, vampires from the mayor's big black magic curse. I'm going to love this movie. My son is going to like it too. He might not love it, but he'll like it. Then I'm positive that I think this was in the movie theater. I don't know. It looks really good. I went back and forth on buying it um, for my son, and then I decided to get it. Uh, it's called The Games Maker, and uh, it says Make Your Move. And on the back it says, Young Ivan's newfound love of board games catapults him into the fantastic and competitive world of game invention. But when an evil games master attempts to destroy the world Ivan's grandfather created, he must rise up against his nemesis and risk losing everything to win the game. Okay, I'm going to love this movie. I already know I love it. I can tell you right now. Then on Blu-ray nonetheless, which is like amazing, I found Dawn of the Dragon Slayer. And I know that there's another, I think this is like a sequel to something, but... I haven't found the other one yet. To become a hero, he must battle a legend. And it's a Blu-ray and, and a DVD, so that already is amazing. Um, after Will's father is killed by a dragon, he, he embarks on an epic journey to seek vengeance against the vicious monster while undergoing intense training on how to slay the beast. He uncovers a mysterious family connection and prepares to avenge his father's death before his secret's discovered. Um, his secret is discovered. Now, that right there sounds like a good movie. My son will love that. And then, oh, wait a minute. Where is... Wait a minute. I have this doggy movie, but I bought another movie called Golden... Oh, no. I bought this movie called Golden Christmas, and it's about golden retrievers. And I was going to keep it for us because I'm convinced that Max is a golden retriever. But I think I dropped it off at the shelter. Ah, I, I think they have a lot of them. I'm going to get that. Um, damn it. I was going to torture them with that a couple days ago. But the weekend's coming up and I have to find it. I'm, I'm on a mission. Oh, I think it's on cable, actually. I think Gretchen was like telling me because I told her that I got it that take home doggy daycare and I've seen this and it's a really cute movie so I thought we might watch it because that's um, basically what her life has become we are running a doggy daycare right now uh, it's a delightful film for the whole family doggy daycare is the story of a remarkable dog named Mutt Amelia and Sydney have been running their doggy daycare since their parents passed away, but the beloved business is under the threat of closure, uh-oh, and faces overwhelming odds, as well as evil cat baron and a dog catcher on the prowl. I don't remember. I know I've seen it, and I know I liked it, but I don't actually remember anything about it. And that happens to me a lot. Does that happen to you guys? It's, like, very rare that I remember a movie completely. There's very few movies that I remember, like, crazy i remember a lot of things like i remember everything that i buy where it is uh where i like things like that i remember but a movie i have to really love the movie to remember like things about the movie it's a really weird thing one of the next items that i picked up i don't know if you guys remember these 
these are the Brax Royals. And the packaging doesn't really let on to what they are. But if you remember these from your past, or if you haven't realized what these are, let me remind you. These are caramel candy that, I don't know, when I was little, they were really popular. They used to be like in the supermarkets in those like open bins that you could buy your candy loose in. And they are multicolored caramels with flavors. There's the caramel and orange, which happens to be one of my favorites. Um, this is the, this is vanilla, right? It tastes like milk, this one. It's so yummy. Um, raspberry. And I think this one, yeah, this one is chocolate. Chocolate and caramel. And why do I feel like there was one other flavor? Oh, there was. I remember my candy. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. The yellow is butter rum. Oh, my God. These, I can't believe I didn't get, thank God, thank God I did not get more than one bag of these because I bought these for our house because there was something about them. I was like, this reminds me of something, but do you guys remember these? Do you guys remember these candies? Like, I just, I really feel like this packaging does not, it doesn't even say it like anywhere that it doesn't even say. They're like, we know who we are. If you don't remember us, then don't buy us because we're Brax and we're the best. But I knew, I, I was like, I feel like I remember this, the milkmaid part, but there are five different flavors amazing i can't figure out how to show you them okay i think i got it so there are five different flavors with this cute colored foil wrapping and when you open them open the butter rum one because that one excited me the most and I will be eating it later because these are the kind of candy that you chew for a long, long time. But I'm just going to show you guys. Yes. And they're like that, but they have like a flavored center. But even on the thing, I guess it's kind of subtle. It's like a subtle color difference on the wrapper. The wrapper does not explain what it is. They're that's why they ended up in the Dollar Tree because they... I did pick up a couple of packages of these teeny weeny bows because... I do have a bunch of heart necklaces that I bought um, actually from Wish last year where I had a lot better luck with Wish than I did with this, this year, but um, I bought them last year. They're sterling silver chains and um, some kind of polished heart stone, but they're actually sterling silver. And then I ordered these really, really beautiful boxes um, that look like crystally. So I think they make nice gifts to give to different places um, for either adults or teenage girls. And uh, I think they'll be cute to put, you know, it makes it look really fancy schmancy with the teeny weeny bows. Um, yeah, so I bought these. You get um, nine in a package. I actually love these kind of bows. I have a tree topper <laughs> that's metal, but it's like that kind of bow, but in, it's like, it's, this type of a bow, but huge, but made of metal because I love those kind of cheesy bows. I think they're adorable. Happens to be one of my favorites. So cute. This in my walkthrough, but of course the dog got to it. Thank goodness I was able to um, save it out of my puppy's clutches. But this is the wired jute cord. It is... Um, amazing i love it i should have bought a lot of it i only bought one but i'm sure that i could get more of it i feel like i could get more of it right now because people are very focused on christmas they're not paying attention to this but i think that's awesome i love wired anything i just love i love it because you could do anything you want with it then i did get a wish list item which is so weird because it came and went but i actually found these all over again I buy it. It's the thankful, grateful, blessed sign. And I kind of felt thankful, grateful, and blessed when I bumped into it again because my girlfriend loved it. So I figured I'd pick it up for her. And it's really, really beautiful. I love how it looks. 
it's perfect for the fall. So I'm going to mail it to her and I'm sure she'll use it in the fall. And then I found that, but I had never found this. When I found those, I saw all of them. I didn't like all of them, actually. I loved the Thankful, Grateful, Blessed, and this one, but I never found this one because it was sold out, and I found it, and I absolutely love it. But I do feel like I have to glue a Jenga block coming out like that on the back so it looks like a little chimney because I feel like this house needs a chimney. On the back, you could just glue it right here on the back one. How cute would that be? So I'm going to have to do that. But either way, I love it. And I'm going to probably put it on my mantle after Christmas. Or maybe I'll even... Um, and then I did in my walkthrough show you guys that they had a ton of these, like a ton of varieties of things of this um, brand. It's called Be Kind Beauty Essentials. And I have heard other people say that it's from the 99 cent store. I think they said the store called the 99 cent store. And uh, it says 2020 Beauty Essentials Cosmetics, Fresno, California. I have no idea. But um, so, you know, brow paint highlighter black. Let's see if it's any good. Because it's not like this was $100 originally. I don't know. It says $1.99 value. <laughs> you know, it's not that great. But let's see. LA Colors is a dollar value. But some of the things by LA Colors are awesome. I do love this brush because I love, I love when a brush is angled like that. Cause I, cause you can kind of do everything you want with this brush. You, if you really are in a pinch, this is the only brush you need this and a blush brush or some kind of a contour brush. Um, so now this is supposed to be, that is a really nice highlighter actually for what it's worth. Oh, I love that. It's good. I love highlighters. I could use highlighters for everything. It says brow, paint, and highlighter. Hmm. It's black though. So I wouldn't paint my brows black. Oh, wow. Those are, those are, that is definitely black. Um, that's too dark for me, but I could do, you could do um, eyeliner. You could do eyeliner with it. It does have an angled brush. It seems nice. Unfortunately, the brush does not fit inside of this um, compact. So I guess it's not a design flaw. It's just the way it is. It does not fit inside of there. So you would have to, I hate that actually, because I would, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter that it doesn't fit into the compact if you don't care. I, I guess it doesn't matter. I kind of would have liked it if it did though. It doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm thinking right now. And the other one is a liquid eyeliner and an eyeliner pencil. So I don't ever use eyeliner pencil. I'll probably give this to my girlfriend, but I do use liquid eyeliner. Um, It's a liquid eyeliner pen. So let me see if it's a brush or, oh yeah, it is, it's a brush. It's okay. I probably won't use this. I love the felt tipped eyeliner. I'll probably give this to my friend Kathy. She loves um, black eyeliner and she uses this. She'll use this. Definitely. I, um, I really like the felt tip eyeliner because when I try to use that um, brush kind, Unless I'm using like something a little softer than black. Today I'm wearing a, like a gray and I did use a brush. But if I am if I do black with the brush, somehow I end up looking like it's 1994 and I'm gothic all over again. I don't know what happens. By the time I'm done, I'm, I need to wash my face. It's crazy. So I can't be trusted with that when it's black. Um, Cause I just, I'm like, oh, I went a little too far and then I do the other side and then I do this side and then I get a Q-tip and then I smear it everywhere. It's not a good, it's not a good thing. I'm so grateful that they invented that felt tip. Um, now this one, this Be Strong is a volumizing black mascara. I have a funny feeling this mascara is going to be nice. It doesn't show what the shape of the brush is. I hope it's not straight. 
but we're about to find out that one too. <laughs> Mm. I like the packaging. I think it's cute. Ah. Uh, well. Um, it's a noticeable difference actually. see the difference that's a pretty good mess i bet that's a good mascara I, ha I don't know why but i had a feeling it is straight i like it when they're curved but it has a i can you could tell it makes the right sound coming out of the thing i can't explain it it has like a good density um okay and then i found the next one of the next items that i found i already showed you guys one magnet that i'm gifting but i got this magnet for me um, I might have gotten it for my girlfriend, actually. I'm not sure. I only found one. Isn't it so cute? It's like very fat, like a box. And it says, oh, it's like a canvas almost. It's so cute. You see how thick that is? It's like the size of my finger. Um, it's a really cute magnet. It says, I came, I saw, and I forgot what I was doing. It, it is like canvas. It's, I was, I don't know why I smelled it. <laughs> I'm like, what do you smell like? Um, I don't know. It's really cute. It's like a little canvas, very strange. Um, it's unique. I, it's not like the other, cause sometimes, sometimes these fall off my fridge and break these ceramic ones but this one won't it's just so cute and well made and i guess they figure we have enough to worry about trying to remember what the heck we were doing that the last thing we need we need to do is remember to be cleaning up the broken magnet stuff off the floor so they made that one di i've never seen them like that i did pick up a couple of these um candy cane mini lights um, not sure. I thought I was going to put them in my, I thought I was going to put them in my hot cocoa bar, but I have since I'm actually done with my hot cocoa bar. I just have to get space in my phone to upload my video of it. I'm very happy with it. All the pieces came. Maybe I will add this to it. I, when I bought these, I was thinking I was going to put them in the hot cocoa bar, but it's taken on a life of its own. It may not need this, but I might want to take it over the top as I've been listening to a lot of Olivia today. So I want to keep saying the word over the top and voila, I love Olivia. Whenever I'm home for the day, I had a lot of wrapping to do and a lot of, I, my husband and I finally caught up on like a lot of things that needed to be done here at home and things that we needed to do for ourselves because we've been running ourselves ragged, doing all this other stuff for the charity. But, um, we had someone come and finally close our pool because there's going to be a big snowstorm. I have been cleaning my pool out in the darkness. <laughs> like at night I would go out and rake out leaves. You can't leave your pool on like you, you can't leave your pool open in the winter. You just can't. But I just didn't have time. We didn't have time to like have the guy come and we needed to have someone winterize the camper and um, change some something blew out in it i don't know and we did and he's been really busy so today we were home my husband handled all of the people socially distanced wearing a mask with um and you know we got them to take care of all of that but i had like a kind of a relaxing day cleaning my house cleaning out closets cleaning out pantries but i did get to do a um cucumber peel off mask i did put um, the other conditioner in my hair, which I love as well, the little gold tub by, um, think of the name of it. Oh, the Dessange, the, um, not the clay, but the other one, it's really good. I feel like these products are definitely going to make my hair healthier for sure. Cause I literally didn't do anything but wash it and comb it and it air dried and it doesn't look frizzy. So these are good products. And, um, yeah, so I had a really relaxing day, 
and I needed it. I needed a day like this. It was a good day. And I'm now I'm, I don't, I don't, I need the magnet because I, I don't, I, I started a whole conversation. I came, I started the conversation and I forgot where I was going with that. So that's why I bought that magnet. I bought these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but they are super duper cute. If I don't end up using them, I will toss them in um, the donations and people will probably take them to decorate their little trees. This is perfect to decorate one of those mini trees with. And there are 10 lights, so that's super cute. And they're battery. Another item that I found that I couldn't believe that I found, um, one of my viewers, uh, Sally, her name is, had mentioned that she uses the day and the night one. And I was like, could she really be talking about skin nutrients? How could I have never seen it? I even had this last year. I can't believe this. But if she had never said that there were two different ones, I would never in a million. Do you guys see that right there? Do you guys see that subtle, subtle difference? One is red and the other one is silver. But here's the kicker. The box that they come in, it's like red. So it sort of reflects. You don't notice that because they, they have them both next to each other. And the red silver, the red from the box next to it reflects off of this silver. The only reason that I really noticed these is one, because Sally said that she has both day and night. And I was like, that stuff is awesome. I'm so devastated. Maybe she doesn't have um, the same brand. Maybe it's a similar, I was thinking maybe it's a similar container. Um, but you know, because you YouTube, you can't like have like a full on conversation because I wanted to just call Sally up. Hi, Sally, if you're watching and be like, Sally, can you can you FaceTime me what this thing looks like? Because I need to find it. And when I was in the store, I was like, damn it, Sally, you were so right. I can't wait to tell you because I, I literally I got I, as soon as I got home, I, t I sent her a message on Facebook. <laughs> Believe how amazing I, I was like amazed that I have never seen this. Have you guys got both of these? Because if you don't, you guys need to be thanking Sally. If you've never found it and you didn't know there were two different ones and you love the, um, you, you might not even know which one you have, honestly, because it's so little. The writing is really little. Most of the time, people that want skin stuff, we're older. We can't see. They're pulling the wool over our eyes. That's what's happening <laughs> because... The one that I've been using is the Double Strength Retinol Night Repair Serum. Amazing stuff. I love it. I put it on my skin. I feel something happening. Oh, that's why I started the whole conversation. Because I was going to say that I'm adding this to my regimen, but I had a lovely day because I did a cucumber face peel and I did the hair thing. I remember why I was doing all of that now. Ah, uh, okay. Now, so the Creme de Skin Nutrients. And free and... It's Paralyn, the daytime version, and it doesn't even say actually daytime version, but it obviously is because vitamin C is like a morning thing. If you're going to drink it in the morning, might as well have your skin drink it in the morning too. But this one definitely says night, and this one just sort of leaves us hanging. I guess you could use it any time, but this one says hydraulic acid to improve skin's texture and clarity with intense moisture and balance skin brightness and whiteness. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm really for sure, I bought three of these and I'm keeping all three. And I already have three of these for me. Well, um, four now because I picked up another one for a girlfriend because three are for me. I absolutely love this product. I think it is super thumbs up. If you haven't ever tried it, try it. I went through my whole bottle that I bought of this last year and I was kind of sad that I ran out of it. I was so glad to see it again. I guess that Dollar Tree does get it from time to time. It is not a Greenbrier product. It is by a company called Skin Nutrients. I wonder if it's Hapag New York. Product, if you haven't found it, get it. I hope you guys find it. Try it out. Let me know how it works for you. And if you already have it, share your experience in the comments. I really want to know because I don't think I'm joking. I don't think that I really love it. I think it's a really good product. I mean, for a dollar, for sure, but I've tried way more expensive products, and a lot of the time, the packaging is all that it is. It's just the hyping of the advertising and all that stuff. Not 
you know, sometimes the cheapest products are really good for your skin. So I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. Maybe not always makeup because makeup, you, you have to have the right texture and color and you wear it all day. But some of the simplest ingredients are like the best things for your skin. Like if this is vitamin C and it brightens your skin, then it's doing what it's supposed to. And it's kind of like Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine. It's medicine for your skin is what it is. So I kind of love things that are more natural. And these sort of, I feel like these are just really clean, good products. Not natural. French fry headed stress men. They're actually not French fries, though. I thought when I first saw this one, I was like, what is that? A French fry eraser? And it's not. It's his hair. But he is a stress man phone stand. See, he's like stress relieving. But honestly, this thing is hilarious. Look at his eyes. Wee, wee. He does relieve my stress. Like, I think it's so funny. So I got it as a stocking stuffer for a couple of people, but it also polishes your phone. Like this stuff is, um, what is that material called? It's, it's the kind of stuff that you clean electronics with is his hair. They're so cute. I mean, aren't they cute? Even like everybody needs something to sit their phone on. The little legs hold the phone They're this, These are great stocking stuffers. I really like them. And I'm definitely going to give one to my husband and my son because their phones are always filthy and they need phone stands. So these are great little stocking stuffers. And I'm keeping one for myself and I'm going to give one to a friend. Um, another item that I found in the last minute finds are the six in one stylus pens. And, you know, I'm not really big on buying stylus pens or pens. It's not really my thing, but what I think is great it does have a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. So if you're in a pinch, that's a really good thing to have just sitting in your dashboard or something like that. But it has a level in it, which is what I think is really cool. So it comes often enough you need a level to put even a picture up. So instead of having to go like through the toolbox and bust out the big level, just to get a little level like that, I think is a good stocking stuffer just for the level. I mean, put this in the pencil holder when you're going to hang a picture, you know, if it's level by using the simple thing that you could just grab easy peasy. I think it's a really good to have a level on hand in an easy fashion for a dollar, I think is a good deal because I hate schlepping the toolbox out and all that. I did pick this um, up in the floral garden as well when I saw the jute cord. I did show in my walkthrough a bunch of different, um, I don't know, I, can, I cannot get this. Oh, there it is. This is like gold and cream colored chevron ribbon. It's very, very beautiful. I really like it. It's grow grain, very nice quality ribbon. Oh, and it actually says grow grain ribbon. Okay, Dollar Tree, thank you. I didn't know that Dollar Tree ever said that ribbon was grow grain. Um, and my channel, you know that when I picked this up the last time, it was broken. But I found one and it isn't. And I just, it's up, I had batteries in it because I used it today. I actually put my peel off mask on and before it dried, I put this on. And I had a lovely day of doing, um, I had a lovely day of pampering myself in between cleaning everything in my house. So it was a very strange day, but it was, it was needed. I was like home. I did a lot of things I wanted to do, but I did do that Freeman's peel off mask and I did this and I have to say that it's, it feels really good. Like I feel like even now. I don't know. I feel like I could do this all day to my face. I love, I love the sound that it makes in my skin. It feels like, it feels like it gets the blood flowing and that's good for your lymphatic system. I think it's, it's just good for you. DVD in the bag. And then I have something so exciting to show you guys. You're not going to believe this blast from the past that I got a whole case of a case of it. They had three cases. And I was able to buy one case of it because this is like the greatest gift 
for the shelter, but I actually might wait and give it for Valentine's Day because um, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I think it would make a cute Valentine's Day gift. I have a lot of stuff for Christmas for the women. And I just feel like because of the content, I think it's better for Valentine's. But, um, I did get this DVD. It says it's Nicolas Cage, How I Love. It's actually not a DVD. It's a Blu-ray. And it's the movie Left Behind. And I've actually really wanted to see it a bunch of times. And for some one reason or another... Every time I go to see this movie, something crazy happens and I never watch it. So I got the DVD and I hope nothing crazy happens. And um, and I finally get to see it. I think it's like maybe it's, it's so old. I can't believe I've never seen it. It came out in 2014. Six years for six years. I've meant to watch this movie and have not had a chance. That's crazy. But I'm trying to remember like crazy things happened just weird things like the cable went out and just crazy things and then then you're like over it i don't remember there were like one time the cable went out another time oh i had like unexpected friends stop in and they didn't speak english they were immigrants so they didn't want to watch an American movie. There were like a bunch of different scenarios where I never got to watch this movie. So I'm excited that I found it on Blu-ray. We're going to watch it. I hope it's good. Don't tell me the end. Um, and I love Nicolas Cage. In my walkthrough, I did show these. These are really nice bowls, guys. Like they're metal. They have the full rubber bottom so that the dogs don't push them over. They can't like flip them over. Well, they can, but... They're harder to flip over than most bowls because I do have the smaller version of these and I've given up on the dogs eating separate. They don't want to eat separate. I'm not going to force them. So I got two bowls and I'm going to put their food. At first, I'm going to put two bowls of food and then they'll probably switch up and then eventually I'll just make one bowl for food, one bowl for water. I think because they seem to always eat and then trade, eat and then trade because they keep thinking the grass is greener on the other side. So they do it like synchronized. It's really hilarious. Um, yeah. So I have two really exciting items to share with you guys. I found these. Do you guys remember these good night, good morning pillowcases? Do you guys remember these? I found this, but they also have this. Did you guys know that there's a third one? I didn't know, unless maybe there wasn't a third one and they made a third one. Oh, wait a minute, maybe they both have the eyelashes now. Oh, we're gonna check. So this is what they look like. Sweet dreams. And it has these. How cute is this? I'm really, okay, this is amazing. So the good night, it has eyelashes. Maybe they fixed them, because I don't remember them being, I don't remember there being a sweet dreams one. So the good night has eyelashes. Let's see if the good morning has the eyelashes, because I remember that there was one that did have them and one that didn't have them. And maybe if they made a third one, they threw on some eyelashes finally. I don't, no, nope, no eyelashes, but still so cute. Oh my God, I love these. I think I want to keep a set for me. So it's good night, good morning, and sweet dreams. How cute is that? But I was thinking that that would be a really cute Valentine's Day thing to put together for Valentine's Day. What do you guys think? I mean, I do have a lot of things, unless, and I did get a lot of hair stuff. As of recently, a lot. I mean, I haven't hauled everything yet. So much amazing stuff in the Dollar Tree right now in the hair care and the like shower gels. And I have cleaned up. I have found so many. Ah, I can't wait till my next haul video. I just have so much good stuff. But I, I feel like I have more than enough for Christmas. And I'm thinking towards Valentine's now. And I'm, I have those, I don't want to tell you guys, but I have a lot of really good stuff. So 
I do have a lot of things coming up that I am bringing, but I was thinking I would hold on to these for Valentine's. What do you guys think? Because it's kind of like, you know, romantic. They could take care of themselves. It'll be like a little bedtime luxury because they're single and they're probably lonely. And I was thinking it would be a good Valentine's Day. Day. I did find a new Maggie. I was so, it was so crazy. I found one and it was just Maggie. And my Maggie was, it was throwing dirt out of the box. And I'm keeping Maggie and I'm going to gift, I'm going to send this one to the person that I had intended as a gift because Maggie was just spilling dirt out everywhere and the whole box would have ended up filthy. His um, paper clip looking clip clips, like wiry metal clip clips. Honestly, because I saw Anna from Only In My Dream say that she always buys these and that they're great. I've never bought them and I'm wondering if they are great. Actually, I always buy the other ones. Do you guys ever buy these? I like to buy, I, I just buy the wooden clips. I get a huge pack of 30 and I use them as bag clips. I use them for everything. I don't know. Yeah, these these work good. I don't know what I would do. I, I think I feel like these would be good to hold your wires. These are good to, because you could fit the wires in there. Like if you want to separate wires behind your TV. Oh yeah, that's great. That's what I would do with these. Except I would do that with all of them except for this one. This one is going to go on my desk because it's teal and anything teal has my heart. I guess I'll keep the teal and the yellow one on my desk and I'll use the rest to organize wires. I don't know that I would use these as a bag clip. I don't feel like... No, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I... I trust her, so I'm going to try them. I mean, anything she says is good, I try. So I'm going to give her that. I really respect Anna from Only In My Dreams. She she knows what's good. She does not waste her money. I'm sure that she probably uses them for a million things, but I just assume she used them as bag clips. I didn't really think about what she was using them for. Um, I did get this black and white cute ribbon as well gingham because I thought I would also use this for Valentine I'm already in Valentine's by the way I'm in February already guys I'm moving past Christmas um I did get a couple of these I do have a couple more DIYs coming up so I picked up a few of these lights two two white and two colored I don't know why I picked up the colorful lights I think I picked the colorful lights up to give them away just because they happen to have a couple boxes left, so I picked them up. But I picked up the white ones for me to do a DIY with. And then I did pick these up. These are the Magnetic Clip Four Piece by Jot. I literally love these things for... I like to put a spoon, like a plastic spoon, connected. I just clip it onto this Magnetic Clip thing. And I, mat, I stick it because it's magnetic. The coffee maker, the side of it is magnetic. I like to just keep my one spoon that I mix my coffee with. I rinse it off, put it back on here and stick it on the side of the coffee maker. Because I feel like if I mix my spoon every single day with a new cup of for a new cup of coffee with a spoon and then throw it away, that's 365 spoons that are going to end up in a landfill because I have morning coffee. That's like crazy. Plus, if my husband has a second and third cup, now we're talking a thousand pieces of extra plastic. I know a lot of people don't care about that, but I feel bad doing things like that. So if I just use the same spoon for like eight months and just rinse it out, I'm not eating off of it. No one's using it. We're just putting a little sugar in our coffee, mixing it, rinsing it right next to the sink and putting it right back on the coffee maker. That saves a whole lot of plastic from going into the dump. So, you know, I like recycling and reusing wherever possible. I really am a firm believer in it. And uh, I love upcycling. And um, I have a very exciting upcycle coming up too that I think came out gorgeous. I can't believe how adorable it came out for a dollar. It's a trash to treasure that literally cost me a dollar. I was just thinking about how I love recycling as I'm thinking about how cute my DIY came out. Anyway, I did pick these up. Speaking of recycling, 
This is all about using your own energy to create light energy instead of using batteries. These are, I don't, these are like, to me, um, I forget what that's called again. It recharges through ki kinesthetic. I, I can't think of the word right now. I'm so embarrassed that I cannot think of it, but I can't, and I'm going to not waste time. Um, so they actually charge, this charges it. By doing this, you charge up the battery and then you can lock it so the handle, and then you put the power button on. And if you don't want this handle, whoops, pile of Dollar Tree. I'm, I have like Dollar Tree Jenga going on over here. Um, if I, I don't know, I actually do not understand what the locking, so this button locks the handle into the closed position. I guess so you have a comfortable grip on it, but that's a pretty good flashlight. And honestly, a couple of squeezes of this actually gives you light for a while because we've used these in emergencies in my house. And um, they do come in gray and blue and purple and red. And I actually picked them up in all the colors, but I just kept a pink and a, pur uh, a red and a purple one here for here. We do have one somewhere that we used over the summer when the power went out, but I don't know what happened to it. So I love these because I do have the other LED ones, but God forbid you run out of batteries, you're screwed. This, you could still have light because sometimes the power goes out for a long time. And as I'm having this conversation, I'm remembering that I was supposed to buy a generator and I once again never got around to it. Now we're having a snowstorm. I live by the water. I, yeah, yeah, I just remembered that we never got the generator that I was supposed to order. This is not good. I wonder if my husband even realizes that we never ordered it. I did get a whole case of these. Uh, I think there's like 26 or something in them. Uh, we've tried these before. These, they don't call them fake M&Ms. They call these chocolate lentils, which is so funny because there's no lentils in here. They're fake M&Ms and they taste Once just I was like done it. with this video, my son tasted these and so did I. And they're really, really nothing like M&Ms. They taste like sixlets. This thing that I picked up, I picked up two of these. I have no idea why. Maybe I will do like something with them. People do their tear trays with them. They do all kinds of stuff with them. But I feel like I... I don't know. I picked up two of them because I know that everybody loves them and you can make all kinds of other things out of these. So I'll hold on to them. And when I finally find the absolute right thing to use them with, I will. I should have bought three because I like to do things in threes. And I'm thinking now that it's either going to become one thing or no things because I don't have three. I only have two. Oh, there weren't three black ones left. And the other ones are square on the top. And I didn't love that. That's what it was. I like the round top ones. They come in black and white and square top or round top. But I like the round top better. And this is all they had left. So I bought them. And I'll put them away. You never know. Something will come. There's all kinds of new things coming down the pike every day in the whole uh, crafty people world. I love to look at the things that people make. It blows my mind. The things that people think of making are amazing to me. Um, I got 10 of these tape, uh, mailing tape from the Dollar Tree. Honestly, you don't get a whole lot in here, but it's just convenient. They do have those bigger rolls that don't have this part and they were sold out of them. So I had to buy the actual mailing tape. I don't prefer this, which is why I ended up buying 10 because I was too lazy to go anywhere else. But the other roll, you get a significant amount of tape. I don't actually know, like, this one has 10 yards. Sounds like a whole lot, but it really isn't. This doesn't last very long. The other roll, I feel like you get maybe 30 yards. I feel like you get a lot more tape in the other one, but you don't get the cutter. But I just use a scissor. And I did get another one of these because I love adding these to cupcakes or banana bread. It's really good. I actually used, I didn't use up the whole bag, but I used this the other day and I made um, banana bread and I added it to it and it was coconut banana bread and it was really yummy. So I bought another bag to have it on hand. 
And I actually, when I opened the bag, I don't know if you guys remember my stacking jars that I was like debating why I didn't buy them, but then I bought them with the brown lids that stack. Well, now I have, so I bought four. I, I regret not getting six, honestly. I have raisins in one, chocolate chips in the other, coconut flakes in the third one, and cashews in the fourth one. So they're awesome. They're like perfect for my little baking area. So yeah, I really, I, I love these, by the way. This is a really good um, coconut flake product. I think, I love, it's non-GMO. It does have a lot of sugar in it. So, but I didn't add a lot of sugar. I actually, I didn't add any sugar to my banana bread. So the sugar that came into my banana bread came from this and the bananas. These, I already dropped them off and um, I'm going to bring this in my next batch. I just wanted to show you guys these. These are really fun. Kids actually love these. They don't look like much because they're just jelly things, but kids play the heck out of these. They slam them on the walls. They watch them fall. These don't dirty up the wall. They don't cause any damage. They're really fun. The bodies are hard and just the tops and the bottoms are jelly, but the middle is held together. I, kids have a lot of fun with these silly little things and you get three for $1. So this is like a no brainer. And especially if there's like a few kids in one household, they'll just grab one pack of these or they'll be given one pack of these and they'll have plenty to play with. So it's good for a dollar, very good buy. And then the PS de resistance of this haul that I'm so excited to show you. Did I drop anything? Have I forgotten anything? You guys, the most awesome part of this haul. I actually, these I found in the Dollar Tree closest to my house and um, they weren't part of this haul, but because I hauled, the incense that say aromatherapy in the haul um, prior to this, but that was all part of the same shopping spree. This whole three-part haul was one day. Um, then like five days later is my next haul that's sitting in my car or six days later. But I have to show you guys these together because they... I don't actually know if they belong together, but they do in my world. They're by Aromatherapy. They're the Dollar Tree's Aromatherapy line. And then these candles also say Aromatherapy. But I, I have to admit, I think I like the candles. I am so upset that I only found four of these candles or that I only bought four of them because there are no more. I went back. When I went to my car to get these, my Dollar Tree is right here by my house. I was like, you know what? I have to show my people these candles. They need to find them because I just kept thinking about how cute they are. And I had not yet smelled them. I was just thinking about how cute they are. They really have that look like, I just love how this stuff looks. It's like, like from a hippie, like cool homemade, like they made this stuff. Like that's how I feel. Like I feel like these are homemade candles. You could like probably take the label off and pass these off as homemade candles. But what I can't believe is how amazing these smell. I have never smelled a candle from the Dollar Tree smell better. Like I'm not even kidding. These are, I can't, are these made by Greenbrier? These are actually made by Greenbrier. First of all, the jar is to die for. It's totally different. It's square. It's like amazing. It's, these are so cute. I am totally keeping these. They are not being gifted. I am really sad that I didn't get more of them. I will try and find more of these because I want more for myself. They are gorgeous. Now, let's see if they... And this is another thing that I needed to figure out. So energy, so this one is yellow. Energy and the yellow incense induces confidence, which is patchouli. I happen to love patchouli. I know some people hate it. Ah, patchouli makes me happy. But I did burn the magenta um, incense, which is the Nag Champa. And although I love the smell of it, I cannot burn incense. It kills me. It makes me cough. Oh, just, just smelling that incense made my nose itchy. I have crazy allergies. But um, 
the yellow aromatherapy candle says energy mandarin neroli richly scented candle and it really is richly scented huh you know what's crazy it says established 2020 aromatherapy so maybe um dollar tree is go oh, this smells so good it smells like orange and neroli it really does it, this is this is probably the best candle I've ever smelled from the Dollar Tree. I really am impressed. I really am impressed, I have to say. Because I do not like it when I buy things and I burn them and I don't smell them. I get really angry. <laughs> like, I wish I could return them at that point. Wow. The eucalyptus peppermint smells like something you get at Bath & Body Works. Wow. It smells, it's like nauseatingly scented. That's how strong it is. Um, so that one is stress relief, eucalyptus and peppermint in this calming blue like shade. And then there is energy in this really plain. You could just take the label right off though. And then you're just burning this like beautiful candle. I honestly, I'm going to take the label off and I'm just going to put it underneath. So I know what the scent is. Cause I love how these look like so like anthropology. They're so cool. They really are. Um, Mandarin Neroli is for energy, yellow. And then lavender vanilla. Oh my goodness. Lavender vanilla is for sleep. Beautiful. Although I don't suggest that people burn the Dollar Tree candles at sleep time because they have been mostly recalled, but I don't know about all that. I think that the idea of, I think that recalling a candle, you shouldn't really leave candles unattended. That's my opinion. And I never really burn Dollar Tree candles unless I have something under them because I kind of know enough to know that Dollar Tree candles, they sort of explode. I mean, the glass breaks. Sometimes, not on these mason jar kind though. The glass usually breaks on the prettier looking ones or the weirder, thinner ones. I mostly don't buy those kind of Dollar Tree candles because of that. I mostly buy the mason jar ones because they don't break. And I couldn't help but buy those beautiful oval ones that I hauled a while ago because they were gorgeous. I was kind of like on the fence about them, but then I was like, you know what? If I see that they start to click clack a lot, I'm just gonna turn them off, put them in the microwave, pour it out, and just keep the glass because I love the glass. I'm going to put them in my bathroom. Those blue, pretty, like oval looking. They were like little cauldron pots. Those didn't crack. But a lot of the skinny candles from Dollar Tree, like the skinny glass candles, I guess when they get hot enough, they just crack because they're not like a thick enough metal, a, a thick enough glass. I'm not sure how that works, but I think that if they're skimpy glass, I always put something under them. Like I have like a little tray, um, like a little like a little metal trinket tray that I always put under candles that I'm burning. Or like over here I'm burning this naked candle, but you know, it has like a long way to go from, if it were down to the bottom, I would take it off. I don't know, but they were, they did recall a lot of Dollar Tree candles. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. I'm digressing as usual. This is my favorite. This one I smelled when I brought them in. Positivity, grapefruit, and bergamot. It is amazing. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Get these candles. So they don't correlate because positivity and relaxation, they're just all kinds of moods and, you know, the colors just are colors. They don't, cor I thought they went together and created a story, but you can mix and match them. If you feel like your friend needs some positivity and met in her meditation, give her this set. Or if she needs vitality and positivity, cause she's a humdrum kind of gal, you could give her this. I don't know. But I think that these are really good gifts. I do. I feel like if you get someone all four of these candles and put them in a, a little or 
This is the thing that I got for my neighbor. I mean, you could just take these four candles. Do they fit on here? Let's see. No, you cannot. But you could take these, you could take two candles and um, a package of incense and one of those uh, things of Himalayan rock salt and put it in the bag, put it in the back, tape it up in the back and then put it in a thing and give it as a gift. You could do so many things with these candles. They are very high end looking because they have such minimalistic packaging. Very, 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 very adorable. Very now bohemian. I love them. I can't, I can't say enough about these candles. I never go on and on about candles unless I think that they are really, really good quality. And these are amazing quality. I am so glad I hold them because I'm going to burn one. I'm really excited. Anyway, that is everything in this haul. And I already have a huge haul in my truck that I have to start as soon as I upload this video. So I'm really glad that you guys are here. I hope that you guys saw something that maybe you haven't seen before or you realized something that maybe you didn't realize before. And if that didn't happen, then at the very least, I hope I entertained you. So I'm grateful to you guys for being here. I hope you're all doing well during these crazy, crazy times that we're living in. Um, make sure to do something nice for yourself at least once a day. And that is the kind of day that I had. And I'm feeling really great because of it. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.